Father. Please. Please say something. Diana. What? What is it? You're on my hand. Stay calm, I'll dig you out. <clears throat> Your harmonizer's toast, but I gave you mine. There's not much T-energy to draw on Did here. it work? Are they safe? I think so. Kaven gave them cover. If they stick to the plan, they should be miles deep before another punches through. Good, good. You need to be gone when they do. Fat chance, old man. You're my lamp to alien, I'm not... Leaving you in here. Damn it, we can't even move this thing. You're as stubborn as your grandmother. This is all my fault. I just listened to you. No, you were right. I deserved every word. No, just forget about that, please. It doesn't matter. It does. You've been keeping secrets so long. It's hard to stop. There are things you have a right to know. We'll have time later. <laughs> stop. Come on. Damn it. Damn. <laughs> You know, back on Earth, my father believed you had to confess your sins, if you want to be forgiven. He never got the chance, but maybe this is mine. The Earth was a troubled place when I left it. I was 32 when they recruited me, a bold and lucrative opportunity to be part of an expedition to an unexplored world. Fifty years ago now. Fifty years of living with the consequences of my choices. Fifty years since I damned us all. We were blown by the storm. However, it appears the transponder guiding our welcoming party to this location was lost in the crash. Without that, our odds of survival are remote. I suggest we find it. Stay here while I track it down. I think we're alone out here. Get some light in here. 
place you look. Thanks for the save. I owe you one. Oui, oui. Le roi, c'est moi. <laughs> Time enough for that later. Head back to the supply drop. Kovac, Dr. Kendrick Kovac. Don't call me Kenny. Hey, the name's Hutchings. Friendly Frenchman's LaRoche. So, you're not packing a long-range firearm, are you? Not on me. But somewhere in that ship I got a 30-06 old family heirloom. No idea where it's packed. Got my pistol, though. Good enough. Give me a second. I'm going to retire to the relative safety of the interior. Good luck up here. See the problem. 
Give me a second. No be. No how to repair. First, you have to find the proper repair frequency. Yeah, thanks, boss. I know what I'm doing here. Do it yourself. Huh. Okay, you're all set. Yes, sir. We got him coming. friend on this base. We all miss Diaz. But I tried to warn you, Nevik would never use that an excuse until they started seeing results. It's not about Jeanette, you know it's not. Oh, so you're still blaming me, though. I never said that. You didn't have to, you just checked out. They're looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm directing my efforts where the science leads. That used to matter to you. It still does, Bonnie, but this isn't my call. Nevik is footing the bill for this operation. They insisted. And that's it. Not a peep from you. Not a... <laughs> it's only because of me that you still even have a job here. Oh, yes, a job answering to... Him. Uh, Dr. Kovach, I see you made it in one piece. Yes, it's been an eventful morning. Phil Braddock, I presume? Mm -hmm. Dr. Roman? And some time. Feels like yesterday, Kenny. You'll excuse me. Okay. And you must be Jim Payton. You really stepped up out there, huh? You must have a million questions. I uh, hope you don't mind being thrown into the deep end. Uh, sir, I'm here to work. All I need to know is how a man can earn some credits around here. <laughs> Thermal energy. That's the name of the game. Acred blood? I need to tell you, boss, we just spilled gallons of the stuff. Oh, it's well more than that. It flows through everything on EDN3. Creatures, tectonics. All the way down to the core. That's what makes life possible in a climate like this. No other substance like it in the universe. And Nevek believes this can solve the energy crisis on Earth. Oh, I believe it can. We're here to study it. Find a way to make it viable, cost-effective for harvest and export. We are leaving no angle unexplored. Very good. Science is always best, without boundaries. Pete and I got a lot of contracts that'll keep you busy construction repairs on the base, but uh, if you want to go home a rich man, you'll take on that hazard pay. Keep us supplied with this stuff. Yes, sir. Just point me to my rig. Peyton, I can't recommend strongly enough that you visit the Quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the acrid can get. But first you want to head down to the service pit and inquire with our lead tech, Gale as to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Uh, Doctor, if you'll stay and chat. Sorry you had to see that. You know Bonnie can have a flair for the dramatic. Is that what that was? I assumed it was sarcasm. Usually she just yells at me. Yeah, well, circumstances are a little different now. I'm sure she'll be a cooperative and productive member of your team. Uh, just a second, Doctor. Jay, any word from LaRoche? Not yet, sir. He's not responding to any of our calls. All right, keep me posted. 
Actual, this is Campbell. I'm in distribution with Ermolev. The East Block pipes are frozen over again. Damn it. We just thawed those. All right. Get a Gabi over there with the space heaters. That's the problem, sir. He's already thawing condensers at Coronas. Should I pull him off of that? Mm, no, no. Okay, look, uh, make an announcement. Let everyone know we're down to a trickle for now. But uh, contact a Gabi and tell him to hurry up. Can't. Later. Navic survival tip number four. Always keep your socks dry while working in extreme frigid conditions. Hypothermia is your greatest enemy, so heat retention and moisture management are key to your survival. Avoid submersion at all costs and keep a backup pair in your emergency kit. Stay dry. Stay alive. Survival tip number three. Don't stray from warm areas without an environment suit. Your Nevik designed suit will keep you warm and safe in even the most inhospitable environments. Be mindful to charge your suit overnight and stay within range of an umbilical field at all times. Stay happy, stay warm. because Braddock didn't seem like too much of a Nevik toady. But the way he buckles to these crazy rules, man. I, here we are in a turf war with these acrid day-to-day, hour-to-hour... Well, a new person. I know everyone's excited about the supply drop, but no crowding this time. I see anyone near the inventory out of turn. I'm docking his next paycheck for time lost. to forgive my brother. He's not a morning person and it's been morning here for three months. My brother, he always do watch. Always watch. Always joke. Norm. 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 Anyway, welcome to Coronas. We're a skeleton crew right now, but that'll change as soon as we can prove tea energy's a cost-effective power source. Oh, and if you ever need toilet paper, I'm your man. TP is like gold around here. You remember that. Thanks. You take care. I kill a hug right now. I'm telling you, if I kill, I kill with an echo.
Civic survival tip number five. Don't eat the snow. On a frontier world, never ingest snow, no matter how thirsty you feel. It can cool your... Hello? Anybody home? Must be the new Jeanette. I guess. Call me Jim. Jim, outstanding. Welcome to EDN3, Jim. The E stands for extreme. Still working on the rest. That's great, kid. You want to point me in the direction of your boss? Oh, uh, Mr. Braddock? I think you'd have seen him already, but yeah. No, I mean the lead tech for this bay. I think they said her name was Gail. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's kind of me. I know, I know, I hear it all the time, girl's name, shouldn't I be off looking for a date for junior prom? Dude, I understand you're concerned, but don't worry about a thing. I am totally getting college credit for this gig. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm kidding. Not in the mood, I read you. Listen, kid, <sighs> Gail, how about we do the get to know you's while we work on putting my rig together? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, are you serious? Uh, yeah, it was shipped ahead in pieces. <laughs> now that I'm here, we can build it. Um, the thing is, I kind of put it together last week. Again. It's a nice solid rig you got. Pretty intuitive design. It was no trouble. I had fun with it, really. All the diagnostics checked out. In fact, I just got done with the finishing touches. What finishing touches? Threw on some spring-loaded Kerner retractors. Jeanette said they always came in handy when the heat was on, which happens more often than you'd think on an ice planet. Get it? <laughs> ice planet? Because the heat... Kid. Went Listen to me and listen close. I got three things in the world. My wife, my son, and this rig. Guess which one I'm counting on to take care of the other two? You follow? That is my whole nest egg. I built it myself. I know every gear, every circuit, and I can't have her breaking down on me because some intern needed to show off. Can I just say two quick things? Please. Okay, first, you can't really say in the world anymore because you're on another planet. Sorry, just pet peeve. And? And secondly, okay, it's your show, Jim. I'm just here to help out. Give it a test drive whenever you feel like it, and if it ain't ship shape, break it all down by morning. Deal? I promise you won't be sorry. Let go of my hand. Okay. Your rig's up in your bay. I'll meet you up there whenever you wander up. Take your time. Jim Payton, please report to the quartermaster in the basement level. Jim Payton to the quartermaster. I heard the whole hangar John about how we were getting a fresh pair of faces around here. I'm the quartermaster, name's Bowers, but most people call me Birdie. You make an honest dollar, you come spend it here, eh? All right, pal, take your time eyeballing the wares. I'll stay out of your hair. Quality hunting knife, top of the line for up close protection. Comes with a lifetime guarantee and unlimited free sharpening. Not that you'll need it. Now that's a sweet one. Pump action, nine shot capacity, synthetic stock and forearm. She's ideal for your close quarters combat. Come back anytime, eh? Yeah, nice meeting you, Birdie.
So right here, where I'm standing, warmest spot in the hangar by a good 10 degrees easy. I found it by accident. Nobody knows except me. Well, and now you. If I catch you standing here tomorrow, you and me, we're having words. for years. Child prodigy originally. In fact, Dr. Kovach was the youngest ever to win the Kubrick Prize for Distinguished Research in Radioactive Biokinetics. Surely you just made that up. I hear he's a few nucleotides short of a full gene sequence myself. Uh, y you arrived with him, yes? What's he like? Oh, uh, interesting guy. He's very, uh, very high functioning. natural aptitudes. If only he'd focused in on the sciences instead of giant robots. <laughs> Such wasted potential. It's not a robot. Don't buy into this disapproving school mom act. Litke's been giving the same speech ever since she made out with Gale at a solstice party only to find out that his 18th birthday was two weeks later. <laughs> uh, pretty sure I'm not supposed to tell you about that. Oh, hey! Be sure to come and see the new lab when they finish the expansion. Any week now, they say. We're going to do great things, I can feel it. Along flight paths 12 and 6. Man, you scored the best gig around here. Getting paid to explore the mysteries of an unknown world. Surviving by your wits. <laughs> I'm stuck all day on this base. It's liable to come unmoored and plummet down a pit if you blow on it too hard. Survival tip number two. Heed hazard warnings. All Nevik approved vehicles and utility rigs are equipped with hazard sensors designed to keep you aware of potential dangers in the environment. Do not consider these warnings advice. Consider them gospel. Stay aware. Stay alive. Heads up. One out of 20 colonists suffers from cabin fever. The depression, the isolation, the stress. People break, run out into the snow, disappear forever. In two years, we've lost four colonists, including Diaz, the contractor you're replacing. Poor girl. So if you ever feel like you're losing it, if you hallucinate or feel intense paranoia, you come see me. Sure thing. this so oh you ready to try this dry treated hypertensile kern retractors i like to call it the cockpit express you got one on the front one on the back you just clip in give the line a tug shoop, 
And by shoop, you mean launch myself up at solid metal from 10 meters down and hope I don't break my neck? As an alternative to being eaten? Yeah. Shoop it is. Be free! 